reactions have begun to follow the apology by Burkina Faso's former president, Blaise Compaore. In a letter read out to the media on Tuesday, the former Burkina Bay leader asked the family of Thomas Sankara and the Burkina Bay people for forgiveness for all the crimes committed under his rule. You have not been condemned or punished yet. You have not even recognized your acts. You deny justice. You even defy it. And at the end of the chain, when you see that there is no other way out, you come and ask for forgiveness. This is a forced pardon. It's as if he was forced to ask for forgiveness. In Ouagadougou, the opinions of Burkina Bay citizens are mixed, as they consider the manner and sincerity of the request for pardon of the former head of state sentenced in absentia to life in jail for the 1987 assassination of Thomas Sankara. Given that the sentence has already been passed and that he recognizes that he was wrong and wants to apologize, I think we should really put all that aside and then walk together to be able to be strong in the face of this situation. For me, it's first of all a gesture that should be welcomed. I am still frustrated by the letter. What is my frustration? Well, in fact, I feel that since the beginning, the issue of justice has been obscured. If they had simply put at the end of the letter, I place myself at the disposal of my country's justice system, I would have applauded this. Kampa Aure has been living in exile in neighboring Ivory Coast since being ousted from power by mass protests in 2014. He returned to Burkina Faso for several days this month without facing arrest.